In this lesson, I'll show you how to convert nominal interest rates to different compounding periods. We'll start by discussing why this is important. Sometimes the compounding period of the interest on a loan will not match when deposits are expected to be made. For example, you're expected to make monthly mortgage payments, but the interest is compounded semi-annually. In cases like these, we must convert the nominal rate to an equivalent rate that matches the timing of the cash flow. With that being said, let's begin with question number one. The question reads, find the equivalent rate of interest for a loan rated at 8% compounded semi-annually to interest compounded annually. Just a quick note before I show you how to do this, notice that we're going from semi-annually to compounded annually. This gets a special name called the effective annual rate. However, in question number two, we go from compounded monthly to something that's not annually. So you'll see a difference in how we do the computation. So here we have 8% and we want to convert 8% to a decimal. That's easy to do. We'll divide that by 100%. We end up getting 0 0.08. So that's our interest. Next, we'll write this down as 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by the compounding period. Since it's semi-annually, we divide this by 2 and we raise it to a power of 2. So that value and that value should be the same. And we'll make this equal to 1 plus an interest rate that we're interested in, let's call it I prime, I just want to differentiate between this and what I wrote down originally, over 1, because it's being compounded annually, so it's being divided by 1, raised to the power of 1. Now I'm being elaborate here and making this over 1 and raising that to the power of 1, because in actuality all of that simplifies to 1 plus i prime. I just want to make a point that what you convert to, the compounding period needs to be reflected here and here. Okay, so that's been simplified. And on the left side, we can rewrite that the way it is. Feel free to evaluate that, but I prefer to keep it in exact form. And now I'll solve for i prime. So I'll bring that 1 over, and I'll use my calculator to do the rest. Turning on my calculator, open parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 2, and that's being raised to the power of 2. And remember that we brought that 1 over, so it becomes minus 1, and we end up with an interest rate of 0 0.0816. 0 0.0816 is I prime. Multiplying that by 100% gives us 8.16%. And that is what we call the effective annual rate, since it's being compounded annually. But now we'll look at an example where we go from compounded monthly to something compounded, in this case, semi-annually. So let's set it up just as before. We'll write this down as a decimal by dividing it by 100%. Gives us 0 0.035. We'll write down 1 plus 0 0.035 over, it's being compounded monthly, so I'll divide that by 12 and raise it to the power of 12. On the right side, I'll write down 1 plus i prime over, it's being compounded semi-annually, so we'll divide this by 2 and raise it to the power of 2. Take a look at the difference between that and what we did originally, where it was over 1 raised to the power of 1. Okay. This requires a little bit more algebraic skill. So we need to isolate i prime. We'll start by getting rid of that 2. And we can get rid of that exponent 2 by raising both sides to 1 over 2. Or you can square root both sides. That's the same thing as square root, by the way. A square root is the same thing as a fractional exponent being half. OK, so what this will do is it will cancel out these two exponents leaving us with 1 plus i prime over 2. And on the left side, we can actually simplify those two exponents. Applying the exponent laws, you multiply. So 12 times half is 6. We have 1 plus 0 0.035 over 12 raised to the power of 6. And we again solve for i prime. We'll bring this one over. So we have 1 plus 0 0.035 over 12 raised to the power of 6 minus 1 is equal to i prime over 2. And we can now multiply both sides by 2, which will get rid of the 2's on the right side. 
And that right there is our expression that will give us i prime. And notice that I placed all of this expression within brackets. You have to do that. So on your calculator, you'll write down two open parentheses, that's the green one, open again, that's the purple one, one plus 0 0.035 divided by 12, close, right, we just closed that one, raise the power of six, minus one, close. And we end up getting a new interest rate that is now compounded semi-annually being roughly 0 0.03525. Multiplying this by 100%, we end up getting 3.525 as our percentage.